a quick little video. I just went through, uh, I really wanted some sort of uh, lab speaker where I could just uh, use it for signal tracing. I could never find one. I keep looking on Amazon. They don't seem to make them anymore. Maybe it's a part of bygone uh, analog world, but uh, I like to use them so I can trace through uh, audio signals and circuits. Uh, so I ended up uh, deciding that I'm now I'm into 3D printing to try 3D printing it, uh, use a bit of Fusion 360 design. I ended up making this thing here, uh, which is kind of what I wanted. It's got a speaker or an amp in it, uh, even a little light. So I'll just go through what I did to, to do that. It turned out to be a fairly simple project other than waiting for amps and things to arrive in the mail. I'll be using the speaker here, which came out of an old PC. So it'll work as a speaker, it doesn't have to be hi-fi or anything. Then the thought is I'll do a 3D print, so I want something that looks a bit like this. So just make a box and I'll use my my standard box uh, startup uh, design. And I'm going to put some little battery pack with AAA batteries in it, so like four AAA batteries I think will give me close to six volts which should be plenty for a, for a little amplifier and then I'll put a platform in here in the box this is all internal on that I had a look out on Amazon I can get a little cheap amplifier out there that uh, has a knob with a switch on it uh, does about three watts which is more than I need uh, takes an input uh, it's actually stereo but I'll just use one side of the amplifier and I'll mount that on that platform that I 3D printed in here and otherwise just needs this speaker put on the front of the box so I'll just put the speaker on wire everything together I'll put some banana plugs on because this is going to be more for a lab type audio uh, audio box I'll probably also put like a, a small audio plug on there so I want to if I want to plug something in or I've got something that needs plugging in rather than using banana plugs I can do that as well and that should be it um, I think it's going to cost me about uh, under $20 to put this together as long as I pre 3D print the case and we should be good okay I'm gonna have a first cut at making this uh, small amp box so first I'm starting with my Lupin Corp uh, standard box. I'm actually not going to have this uh, Lupin Corp logo on the back, so uh, let me first save this as something else. And it can go into cases, so let me save that just so that I'm working on a new design. Okay, so I don't need this uh, Lupin Corp logo on here, so I can just look at my timeline. I think it's the last couple of things I did. So, yeah, if I go back there, I see it's removed. So, let's get rid of these things. And I'm just going to save that as a version. So, save. Try that again. So I want this back to be on the, this top to be on the back. Uh, so let's modify the parameters. So let's make the length 140. Okay, let's make the width 80. And make the height 80. And I think that's looking okay. Okay. So this will be the front of the box when I do it for real. Good, so plan is to have the batteries down the bottom here, speaker on the front here, and a line across there. So after making the basic box size uh, 
first thing I did was add the shelf so I'm just going to run through the timeline here so this was the shelf I added uh, at the moment it's just a sketch on the bottom of the box I also added this circle here and uh, location for the screw holes for the speaker and extruded the the shelf I didn't extrude it all the way to the back of the box I didn't need that much so I just made it go far enough back that I could locate the amplifier on it and I also extruded the the circle here uh, that goes around the speaker the speaker can't go flat against the front panel here uh, needs a bit of a gap so that the circle provides that that mounting lift and I also extruded the speaker mounting holes here so you can sort of see here they're all five millimeter high uh, the next thing I did was add the sketch for the two banana plug connections and the hole for the uh, audio jack on the front and I extruded those so that they would make a hole through the front of the case so you can see it here and then the other thing I needed to do was make holes for the speaker so again I created a sketch here using the circular pattern tool I actually made it three of these circular patterns of holes and then one more hole in the center I selected all those and then performed an extrusion on it so this is the resulting box at the moment which is good prototype the only thing I'm missing out is a a hole for the amplifier I haven't got this part yet so I'm not quite sure how far up it goes so I can just drill the hole while I'm prototyping this and then once I've got it right I can add it into this design uh, but uh, that should be good to go so I'm going to try out this see whether I can mount the speaker and the battery holders when they come and the and the amplifier see how they fit uh, they'll be my first cut then I'll adjust uh, the location of mounting holes things like that see what it looks like uh, but this should be pretty close to the speaker box that I want to create it should look something like that okay this is the 3d print of that design uh, this has sped up quite a bit so in reality this took about 12 hours with the settings I've got for my printer and there's the final printed case here's a better view of that and then I wanted to do a test fitting uh, so I wanted to try it out with the components I've got. So I put the speaker, the banana plug, and the 3mm jack in there. That all looks good. This is a mock-up of what the final design should look like. Uh, from doing this, I think a couple of things I need to add is a little LED to indicate when the thing's actually turned on. And I won't be able to do the final fitting until the amplifier and the battery case come, which are still in the mouth. So have another look at it once those are installed and also I think for the final case I'll probably do it in black rather than white it'll look a bit better maybe even a gray so the amp and the battery holder arrived so I could finish off the case uh, I needed the amp to get the measurements for these standoffs here so let's have a look at those so you can see the standoffs here they're actually eight millimeters high uh, but I needed the amp to get the position on the bottom of the board uh, I also needed the the amp module to uh, get the measurements for this cutout through the front for the volume control on the amp as well. So those were all added to the design. Uh, another thing I needed to change or I added was a little indent here for the Loop and Corp uh, logo. Uh, something else I created I saw on the amp that it had an LED that glowed green when you turned the amp on. That seemed a good thing to show out the front of the case. So I made this little uh, bezel, bezel here. You see it's really just two concentric circles. Um, and I extruded that. But uh, this worked out quite well. I actually used a, a very light green transparent PLA so it could transmit the light. I wasn't sure whether it was going to work, but you'll see in the next part of the video where I've installed it and it actually turned out quite well. About the only other thing I did was make this case uh, 
changed it from 80 millimeters to 90 millimeters. I need a bit more room for the battery case when I saw it installed. Uh, but other than that, I think it's all ready to go. So I printed it out. I had some black PLA now, so I printed it out in black because it looks better uh, as a piece of lab equipment. Again, you can see in the next part of the video, we have assembled it all and actually uh, have it running. Yeah, this shows the updated case. So one thing I did was I printed it in black PLA this time. Uh, I thought it looked better for uh, like lab equipment case. Uh, so what you can see here is I installed the banana plugs and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack in the front. Uh, the amp came so I could install the amp, uh, make the stands for that. Uh, didn't really get it exactly right, but it's good enough for what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to leave it rather than try and do a reprint and just to line these a little bit better. And uh, then the audio coming in just goes into the amps. Normal jack there. You can see the speaker attached. Um, this is the batteries. So the battery case came as well. So that I just uh, Velcro in the in the bottom of the case here so it doesn't move around. It should hold it pretty well. Um, otherwise, that's what it looks like. Uh, when I turn on, I was proud of this little uh, uh, transparent PLA print here just to allow the LED in the back to show through when I turn on the power, they indicate when the power is on and off. Um, I put a logo corp logo in the top, put some feet on the bottom. But the only other thing is I I printed the base here, uh, so that goes on as a lid on the back and keeps it all together. Uh, let's see what this sounds like. Um, So I've got this basic audio function generator. Let's turn this on. Turn on the function generator. And you can see it doing the function generator thing. So I can adjust the volume here, or here. And that's kind of what I wanted. I can also use banana plugs between them. Well, kind of what I'm using this for uh, when I use it in a circuit will be to use the banana jacks and just do sort of signal tracing with it so I can follow a signal through a, a circuit with it. It's handy having this on the workbench rather than trying to find something else to connect it into. I made a couple of last minute changes so I added a little grill to go around the speaker. Uh, Makes it look a little better. Then I changed the black banana plug color green to stand out better. 